right guys this is day four of me being at this track unfortunately the sky decided to uh, open up last night so we'll have to uh, dry up the uh, racetrack for today's operation but that that will be easy because uh, we have um, a vacuum cleaner that will be able to suck up all the water but anyway so as you can see the entire track is now redone the hairpin corner around the building has now reopened and a lot of uh, old customers that used to come here when we were here um, they were very excited and very happy about it so that's a good thing because uh, after the previous owner kicked us out all our loyal customers basically left and especially after he closed up this uh, hairpin corner so yeah but I mean it is a uh, quite a dangerous hairpin corner because it's a completely blind corner so I'll show you what it looks like I mean this stuff we have to uh, fix up soon there's a lot of uh, barriers that needs to be replaced a lot of broken ones but uh, yeah anyway so uh, cars come from that direction goes to here and yep completely blind corner but you can actually do this corner completely full speed so whenever we have a club race basically all the drivers would do that so uh, as you can see it's now very clean well not completely clean still uh, a lot of things we can improve on but that uh, is at least better than before but anyway so so the cars would come from that side no need to brake at all and just full send and then go up and this is like a completely straight line from here this is a great place to overtake too actually so uh yeah this corner completely opened up uh this straight line is a lot longer now so uh, drivers actually have a lot more fun driving on this track but again there's a lot of uh barriers that we need to replace i mean look at these it's just hopeless you know these won't do anything if there's a crash the good thing about these barriers is that we can actually you know uh put water in it and it'll become very heavy so it won't uh, go all over the place and when cars crash into it there's a bit more of a impact resistance so yeah we fixed a lot of uh, corners too i mean this is a really fun track to be honest but it's not really good for powerful carts so yeah this is the other corner that the previous owner screwed up so the corner is supposed to be there but uh they opened up to about here so all the paint just got wore off and uh, carts were just cut across this corner so I mean this is a very small corner but uh, it actually does the trick because the idea is that from that hairpin turn and then coming straight down is actually another straight line so this is a corner that is supposed to slow them down and then comes to this u-turn uh, goes to that u-turn and then all the way to the final corner and then to the last to the straight so anyway i got here a bit too early i'm always here around 8 30 9 o'clock something like that but because everyone starts work at 10 so uh you know i'm always a bit too early all the doors are locked power's not on i wanted to weld something didn't have power so anyway yeah and i found a piece of dog poo <laughs> all right so it's gotten slightly a bit more chaotic but it's uh, within controllable, acceptable tolerance levels. <laughs> um, all this stuff we're uh, about to clear up. It's a pretty nasty space, all this. But it's a lot better than before. And we're already working on quite a few carts already. So here's the prototype engine I was building. We improved on the engine on a few places. The air filter is a lot better now. Uh, the air flows through a lot better. Uh, added an extra tube. From the crankcase to the cylinder head just to make sure that you know more pressure is released uh, also the pulley we add an extra layer here this is from uh, gs200 because the pulley was a bit too tight so that extra layer actually helps lift up the <laughs> pulley from the cup so that it can actually turn but anyway so we haven't been able to test this cart because again you know it started raining last night so uh, we couldn't actually take it to the track so Today, hopefully, we can do that. Once the track dries up, we'll be able to see how crazy this car can be or how bad or how much problem there, 
there, there is. When I get back home, though, I will be taking my car to the track again uh, with this new engine to check it out, see how it performs. I'm still waiting to build my own dyno. I haven't been able to source a proper flywheel yet, so unfortunately, they'll have to wait. Uh, so we're actually repairing this double-seater. The engine was rebuilt completely. Uh, now it's, you know, being reinstalled. Com completely new brake disc. And yeah, so this cart on the other hand, number 44, okay? This cart on the other hand uh, experienced a bit of a hiccup because the pulse line was actually from here. So a lot of uh, engine oil went to the uh, uh, fuel pump, which I actually strongly recommended against. Anyway, so the workshop is looking a lot better now a lot tidier than before although it still needs a bit of work to clear up everything uh, but we're getting there so we're fixing a lot of old stuff uh, finding a lot of parts that they threw out that can actually be used and still is pretty good you know i mean i don't know why they throw it out but the previous mechanics were pretty crappy so yeah so anyway, that's pretty much the uh, end of my four days here. Uh, when we test the uh, prototype engine later, I'll be posting some videos at the end of this video if there is testing. Hopefully there is, uh, because I haven't been able to completely tune the carburetor yet. Uh, really need to put it on the track to, to, to see that. But uh, yeah, should be able to do it within the day. But uh, I will have to drive back home very soon Hopefully I can leave around 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock so that uh, I won't be getting home too late because it's going to be a 7 hour drive so I want to get home at around 7 or 8 you know I don't want to get home too late yeah hopefully I'll be able to put some uh, video of the cart on the track at the end of this video anyway it's been quite a long video so I hope I didn't bore you guys but uh, yeah I, I really wanted to document this to sort of uh, for myself to reference it from the future <laughs> to see if there's anything that we can improve on and also as a big middle finger to the previous owner. Yep, anyway, so uh, yeah, that's it for this. Six and a half hours later. All right guys, so it's uh, close to the end of my time here at this track. I'll be driving home very soon. My colleague is uh, testing my engine right now and it's, it's insane. It's very very quick. So now we have a problem because the compound that we have for the tire that we're using <laughs> it's, it's it's not enough to uh, support the insane horsepower of this uh, engine. So I think we're gonna have to look for new compounds, but uh, I don't know if the two-stroke uh, slicks are gonna be able to work with this engine because uh, they require about 20 odd 30 horsepower so hopefully we'll be able to find a compound suitable but right now it really seems like this car is insane it's 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 working very well so yeah i'm gonna have to do some minor adjustments to the carburetor might have to increase the uh might have to increase the main jet again but we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens anyway so that's it for this whole trip four days here at the Cartlevin Trek and uh, that's it for today and that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.